my name is Peterson Jage Joke, and I love Christ as my personal savior. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we continue to thank you and to worship you. Thank you for this moment you have given to us, O Lord, just to meditate upon your word. We pray that, Lord, as we do so, may your Holy Spirit control us, may your Holy Spirit guide us, and above all, may your name be planted onto our heart. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Brethren, today I want to share something which is so unique, so new. In the book of 1 Samuel, chapter number 15, verses 10 to 20. And I've taken my theme, or our theme to be, never compromise. From the beginning, God was not happy with anyone who was proud. God was not, was not happy with anyone who was arrogant. And God was not happy with a person who practiced hypocrisy. And so in this scenario, God, from his own knowledge, he appointed Saul to be a king. And so God gave Saul all the power and used Samuel to do so, so that this person may lead God's people to the promised land, may guide God's people to the way of salvation, may, guide, may he guide God's people to the way God wanted. And here in chapter 15, there is a scenario whereby Saul went to a battle and someone had warned him that he never take anything, neither your soldier, neither anything from that battlefield. But we find that due to his own selfish, due to his own know-it-all, he decided to use his power as a king to compromise to God's things. Here it says, verses 10, the Lord said to Samuel, I'm sorry that meant that I meant so a king. God is so much regretting that I wish I knew I meant so as a king. If you read in Genesis chapter 6, verse 6, God will be the same. God said, use the same one. I'm so sorry that I created Adam and Eve. Why? God was sorry because whatever he had spirited to these people, they followed their own ways. And so in compromising, we do our own thing so that we may please other people. In compromising, we become proud of ourselves to the extent that whatever we are doing, we will do it to please our own desire. And so God is telling Samuel, I wish I did not do this thing. Because the Saul whom I made king, he has disobeyed me. He has walked away from my decrees. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, God has given us a special knowledge that even in this particular time whereby we are faced by this pandemic, we need not to compromise with other things. We are hearing now that COVID-19 money has been misquoted. And yet, the same people are saying, Are they not compromising with our life? May, may, it, come to it, may it not come to, the, to it that we shall, be, we shall compromise because of our prideness, because of know it all, because of our in, in arrogance, and many other. When God said that, I wish, I'm sorry I, I, that I did not make so king, he was so much furious. Why? That this man had gone against him. And so somewhere, went to Saul and told him, God is not happy with you. But we find in verse 13, Samuel went up to Saul, whom he greeted him and said, The Lord bless you, Samuel. I have obeyed the Lord's command. Hear the hypocrisy now. Saul is saying that, Peace be with you, you blessed man of God. I have obeyed God's command. He is cheating. He is compromising. But then Samuel asked him, why then do I hear 
cattle mowing and sheep bleating. Now this is the, where scenario comes about. This is man of God. Sorrow is cheating him. But Samuel hit the nail and told him, I hear what I warn you not to do. All these things are happening. Many other time, God directs us not to do things which may we may disobey him. But because of our selfish desire, because of our, hypoc our hypocrisy, we compromise and say, Mungu will understand. God will understand. How will God understand? Actually, this was the same case with, with Saul. He was saying that God will understand. But my brothers and sisters in the Lord, verse 17 says, even though you can you consider yourself of no importance, you are the leader of trial. He is being reminded that remember you are the king and you are the leader. We are being reminded that we have a testimony that Christ is our personal savior. And so, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to urge each one of us that we should not compromise with other things. We should not be conformed by the other thing. Instead, we should be transformed completely, inwardly, that whatever comes out of our mind, out of our mouth, may be pleasing to God. May it not come a time whereby God may wish that he did not give you a testimony, a salvation, because you are doing contrary to his will. This opinion can make us move from God's way. My brother and my sisters in the Lord, even at this particular time, I am praying that we continue obeying God's word. Let walk according to his will and command. Let there be patient with us. Let us humble ourselves and we shall receive his blessing. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 11, all the way, it says that. Never forget, but remember whom I am in your life. We are being asked, if we com compromise, we shall always be reminded that God is our God in our life. And so, as we wind up the month of August, I want to ask each one of us, have you compromised your life in the month of August? Have you done something which is contrary to your testimony? Have you done something that God will say, I wish, or you will say, I regret, I put this person into possession. Sometimes we are given possession, and with those possession, we do contrary. We want to do things so that we can be seen we are leaders. No. Please, let's humble ourselves. Let us have a positive mind that even if you are leading, we are leading according to God's ways. We should not be arrogant. In our leadership, we need patience. In our salvation, we need patience. In, in this salvation, God dislikes hypocrisy. And so, my prayer is that this month, may we wind out all the hypocrisy in us, all arrogance in us, and with that, we shall receive his blessing. Lord, Heavenly Father, we continue to thank you and to worship you for reminding us that in this walk of life, we should not compromise in the other thing. Instead, we should be inwardly transformed, not to be confirmed, conformed by the other thing. We exhort you, we glorify your holy name. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. God bless you as we usher in the month of September. Thank you.